the uh, owner of UFQ sent me a prototype of the L2 and uh, he asked me to do an unboxing when it actually became a production model so I've been flying with the prototype for I don't know two three months now um, and it's I've been very surprised at how well it works um, so it's an in-ear type uh, headset meaning you have to put earbuds into your ears um, and then on top of that it also has active noise reduction a and and that actually cuts the sound out even more um, to the point where um, I've made the comment before that you know I drive home from the airport after having flown in a 152 or a 172 and on the way home the amount of noise that I have in my Camry on the way home is about the same as I have when I'm wearing this headset. Uh, it really cuts out the noise very well. Um, the headset works. It's the best headset that I've ever used. Um, and I don't, I don't say that lightly. It is nice that he sent me free headsets and I am happy to use them. Um, but I have no intention of being a sellout. Um, if I say something is nice, it's because it works well and I'm very happy with it. Um, so. Let me go ahead and do the uh, unboxing video of the uh, UFQ L2 ANR Highlight headset. I'll open up this uh, cover first. I've already cut the tape so I can get into it more easily for the video. Comes with uh, looks like the same case that comes with the L1. Uh, it's a nice soft case. Um, on the inside, it's also got some kind of uh, cardboard or something that make it hold its shape. The uh, case actually has a funny smell to it, just like all the rest of them do. It smells like it came out of a rubber factory or something like that. Um, with all the other UFQ equipment that I've received, um, it, it, once you get it out in the air for a little while, it kind of airs out and you don't notice it anymore after a day or two. So I assume that'll happen with this one as well. Comes with a Bluetooth receiver, uh, same as some of the other uh, headsets that I've received. Um, basically, it open this up so you can take a look. It's rechargeable, comes with a USB cable. Move this out of the way so you can see a little bit. It's come, it comes with a USB cable, um, a little 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch jack, whichever one you want to call it, um, dual male side. You want to plug into the side of the, uh, let me try and get this up here so you can take a look at it a little better. Right. It's a little Bluetooth uh, module, and uh, on the side of it, it has a little uh, eighth-inch jack. You can plug this in there, and the other end will go into the uh, headset. I'll show you that in a little bit. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus right. All right, I'm trying manual focus since I tried to do it automatic a minute ago and it wasn't working right. So, move that out of the way for now. Um, so the headset itself is extremely light. Um, it's, uh, there's not really not much to it. It has a headband that goes around the back of your head, a couple of little ear things that go over your ears. Um, there's a microphone and a couple of earbuds. Um, the heaviest part is probably, uh, let me pull this out of the bag so you can see what I'm talking about. The heaviest part is the uh, battery compartment here. Um, it has dual volume sliders, that's for left and right. Um, uh, one thing to know is that this doesn't actually change the sound. If you have music coming into the device, uh, this doesn't change the music sound. It only changes what's coming out of your audio panel and your aircraft. It also has a uh, mono and stereo switch here, so depending on what type of panel you have, uh, you may have to switch to one or the other to get it to come out of both ears. Uh, there's a, a little LED that will light up here and then there's a push button on and off. You push it once to turn it on, push it again to turn it off. Um, hopefully you can see that. Let me uh, bring it up here a little closer. There we go. So that's the uh, battery module. It slides open here in the back and uh, you can put in two AA batteries. Um, negative obviously to the spring just like any other device like that. Closes back up. Um, and then this is where you would plug in your Bluetooth module right into the side. Let me get this in the camera here. Um, right in the side here, there's a little eighth inch jack. You can put a Bluetooth module in, uh, so you can actually play music through your uh, through your phone or your iPod or whatever Bluetooth into this, which then comes through into the headset. Um, it works 
relatively well. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, if you don't like the uh, having it that close to the uh, to the battery compartment, it also comes with a little I don't know three foot or something cable uh, that does the same thing. Um, so you can leave your phone on your lap or in your pocket or something like that if you want to keep a cable through it. Um, all right. So you want to be fairly uh, gentle with uh, the cords and things coming out of it. It's um, it's built to be very light. That's why they call it the high light. Um, my understanding is that it's it has hi-fi speakers in it, and um, it's also super light, so they call it the high light. Um, so these cables coming off these earbuds, um, they're pretty delicate. I'd be careful. Don't yank on them or whatever. Um, they never hold any weight. Basically, you slide. You put this over the top of your head, or I'm sorry, behind your head. This goes over the top of your ear, and then once that's in place, you then take the earbuds and you stick them in your ears. So there's not really any weight that hangs on that at all. It's just, you know, just that's how the sound gets through the cable into the earbud. Um, has a uh, nice uh, mic, moves around fairly easily. Um, yeah, looks like it holds place pretty well does what it should. It also comes with a, uh, a cable, um, a cable clip. This cable clip uh, can be used uh, to attach it to a seat belt or your jacket or whatever um, on your plane. You can slide up and down the, the cord wherever you want it. It has a nice little uh, push button slider that will keep it in place if you don't push on it. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. Um, Next up is the earbuds that come with, or I'm sorry, the earplugs that come with it. Um, this bag has the foam earplugs. These are made out of like a memory foam material. Uh, you can squeeze them and then they hold their shape for a few seconds while it puffs back out. Let me put this in the camera so you can see. So I just kind of squeezed it and it's kind of puffing back out. Works just like a, you know those uh, disposable earplugs that you can get for a work site or whatever. Uh, you just kind of squeeze them and then put them in your ear and then they'll slowly puff back out. Um, there's three different sizes, small, medium, and large, uh, it looks like. So we'll put those away. It also comes with uh, the same three sizes. These ones are silicone ear, uh, ear plugs. So we have some silicone ones as well. Um, my experience with the L2 is that these ones don't work as well for my ears. They may work fine for you. Um, it kind of depends on what is more comfortable for you and what's less comfortable. Um, it also comes as L1 and L2, the, uh, the L1 and the uh, L2 that I have as well. The uh, prototype that he sent me also came with these. Um, they're little pads that can go basically just a little softer rubber. You can put those in place of these little rubber stoppers here over the top of your ear. You can actually slide those off and slide on these thicker ones on instead and it's much more comfortable. I, I really appreciate them and uh, I use them on my other two headsets as well. They work pretty well. They also are a little more sticky than these slight slippery ones here are. Uh, the rubber is a little stickier so it holds them in place a little better. Um, the, the main caution is when you're pulling them on and off of this, um, make sure that you're not holding on to this black box here um, because it could actually make it slide in and out of here and it may damage your headphones um, so make sure you kind of hold on to the uh, the headband here when you're doing it so that you know all this the strength you're putting against this is sliding on and off of just this not on the little black uh, box here um, yeah it looks like that's about it for these um, it, I've talked about them in other videos. If you have more, if you want more information, let me know. Um, any specific questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Um, again, I mentioned this in the intro, but uh, these are the best headphones that I've ever used of any brand. Um, they work uh, extremely well. Um, it's, I said this before as well, but it's just like driving in my car uh, when I have these on in a small um, general aviation aircraft. I fly a 172 and a 152. Uh, these quiet down those engines and propellers and all that as much as it would be to drive my car. 
uh, to it from the airport. It makes it very nice inside. All right, let me do a quick little demonstration about how to do these uh, soft uh, ear pads that come with it. So what you want to do first is get off this uh, little tip on it first. So you kind of grab it and twist it. This is probably the hardest part, getting this little tip off. Okay, so you get a little tip that comes off like that. And then you also need to remove this little plastic layer that they have on there. It's a little slide. I don't know how, what else you'd call it, but it kind of just slides right off. Again, make sure that you're not pulling on the cord here. Grab onto the headstand itself so you're not yanking that out. And it just sort of slides right along the metal and off. I'll just grab the other one. This is the thicker one that I put on the other side already. That's what it'll look like. You can see it there. I'll put it on this side now. Just again, slides right on. This actually goes on a lot easier than the other one comes off. So that slides into place. And then this little cap that I pulled off goes back on and that's what actually holds it on to the earphone. There you go, nice and simple. Adds quite a bit more uh, comfort. Uh, it's a little padded as it goes against your head, side of your head above your ear. Doesn't dig in, uh, kind of holds it in place a little bit better as well. All right, so another thing that's probably worth demonstrating is uh, the changing out of the ear tips. Um, this is the silicone one. I, th I think they put on the medium sized silicone one in the factory. Um, so it's you can just twist it, pull it off. Um, it's a little bit tough to get these silicone ones on. Well, probably both of them actually, but um, it has a little lip on the end of this guy. If you look closely here, you can see it's got a little lip that kind of holds it on. And the inside of the silicone ones actually have a lip that matches the opposite of that. So when it goes on, it actually locks into place. Um, the the foam ones don't have that. If you, I don't know if you can see down inside of there or not. Um, it's just kind of a, a straight circle um, cylinder there. Um, so basically what you do is you just kind of grab it twist it on into place and push it on as far as you can. Um, and that's actually on there pretty well. Um, so the way that you insert this into your ear, you'll take this, you can see it's, I put the large one on, those are the ones that I prefer. Um, you can pick whatever ones fit your ear the best, but for me the large is good. So I'll kind of squeeze that down a little bit, stick it into my ear, and after a few seconds that'll actually puff back out and fill in the gaps between the uh, the headset and my ears, which blocks out a good amount of the sound, and then you turn on the uh, A and R functionality of the headset, and it cuts it way, way, way down uh, to the point where you almost can't hear anything. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. You can you can hear uh, engine changes and that kind of thing. Um, the way that these A and R things work is they find a frequency and it modulates to that frequency. And if there's any change, then you can hear that for a few seconds until it modulates again. Um, so you can actually, as you're flying along, if you feel gusts of wind hit you, um, it'll slow down the propeller, slow down the motor a little bit, and it'll, you can actually hear it for a second or so before it uh, changes and it goes quiet again. So they're pretty, uh, pretty high tech little guys. Uh, they work really well. A quick note on this uh, Bluetooth adapter. Uh, if you're using it for your phone, uh, you, you probably could take phone calls on it. The problem is, is that the only microphone is this little hole right here. I don't know if you can see where it says mic there. Um, it's in light blue letters. Um, but So if you're in an aircraft, obviously, it's going to be pretty loud. Um, it's going to be pretty tough to be able to hear um, your, the other end. You're probably not going to get pick up very well on this mic, and it does not put the sound through the uh, headset. Uh, so just beware that if you're going to make a phone call with it, um, I would probably put it on this cable uh, as opposed to this uh, adapter here. Um, put it on the cable and then you can hold it up to your mouth or whatever to, to speak into it. And, uh, you know, you could potentially take phone calls that way uh, in flight. So there you have it.